Hello, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how you can run Dream Booth on Brev. Um, now, Brev is a cloud dev environment tool that lets you spin up dev environments on any hardware you want. And what we're going to do is we're going to spin up our Dream Booth template um, and start generating samples of ourselves. Um, just as an example, these are a couple of pics we generated of our CEO. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty funny, pretty cool. Let's get started. What you want to do is hit this link. Um, it's in the description. It should take you to the Brev console. It will prompt you to create an account um, and then redirect you to create an environment. All of these fields are will be pre-populated, including the machine field, which comes with the NVIDIA A10G. Um, we recommend this GPU for Dream Booth because it will let you have some flexibility in terms of your fine tuning config, um, etc. Uh, and you'll see it's $1.45 an hour, which is not too bad. Now, down at the bottom, you'll want to go to the name section, and you may see here a little pop-up telling you to add a credit card. Now, we give you half an hour for free of GPU usage, but beyond that, we do need to start charging. Uh, we can't afford huge GPU bills at the end of the day, so you'll need to add a credit card and then come back here and hit Create. It, will, it should take a couple of seconds to spin up that environment. Um, let's let it load. And then you will see it's deploying. Beautiful. What you want to do now is how we access Brev environments is we use the Brev CLI. You want to run this um, script in your terminal. Um, I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. And then what you want to do is open up Dream Booth. Uh, this will open up a VS Code window containing your Dream Booth setup, um, and you'll be able to access Dream Booth inside VS Code. Now this, because it's installing the setup script for the first time, um, will take about three minutes or so. Um, so we're just gonna let it run and rejoin once it's done. Okay, once that's done, you will see a lovely, beautiful window of VS Code. Um, and this is essentially an environment that will run Dream Booth straight away. Um, I'll just show you around a bit. We have here a training script um, which will run the training, which will train the stable diffusion model for you. Um, an inference script which will run on a given prompt, and then the HEOC to JPEG script, which we've added to convert from iOS's annoying format um, to JPEGs because the model can't interface well with HEICs. Um, but the main script we're going to focus on is the launch script. Um, and the first thing we want to do is actually upload our training data. So over here, I have about 20 or so pictures of my chosen subject, who is in fact the CEO of Brev. Um, and what I'm going to do is just drag and drop them, let them upload. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to modify our, our launch script um, to train stable diffusion on our new training data. So I'm going to change line 8 to point to nada. Um, line 12 also, this is the line that tells um, the train Dream Booth script which training data we want to use to fine tune the model. Um, and then kind of the most important thing is the prompt. Um, we're going to call this a photo of nada. What you want to do here is make sure you choose something unique um, because we don't want stable diffusion to get confused um, with maybe objects that is trained with before that have similar names. Um, so we're going to refer to our subject's training data as a photo of NADA. Um, and then down at the bottom, we run inference view. Um, we run an inference job. Um, so we're going to change this to a photo of NADA wearing sunglasses. And we'll see what it generates. So let's save that. Um, run it. Uh, Launch.sh. Um, and the first thing it asks for is a hugging face token. So let's click into that. Um, now what you want to do is copy this and then paste it back in. Um, and you want to make sure actually that what you've done is you've gone here and you have accepted this license agreement because otherwise it won't let you pull the model from Hugging Face. So make sure you've done that. Um, copy in this token, um, paste it, and it will run. So let that go ahead um, and we'll catch up soon. Okay, once that finishes, what you wanna do is, essentially all it's done is run a fine tuning job and then run one inference. 
um, job on that model with this prompt. Um, so you can check out the outputs uh, here. Some of them are kind of funny. Um, and yeah, you can run your own inferences um, by copying this command. Actually, the first thing you want to do is activate the conda environment we use. Um, and we've called it diffusers. So just run conda activate diffusers. Um, and then you can run the inference script. So I'm going to change this prompt from a photo of Nada wearing sunglasses to a photo of Nada wearing glasses. Hit enter um, and it will generate samples for you. And yeah, that's basically it. Feel free to have as much fun as you want um, and message us on Discord uh, if you want any help. Thank you.